In 1903, merchants located in Lesseur, Minnesota, joined forces to create the Minnesota Valley Canning Company. They started by producing and selling 11,750 cases of white corn in their first year of business. In 1907, they also started producing cans of early June peas, and their focus remained on just these two can products until they found a new variety of peas in 1925. That year, Ward Cosgrove, a company executive, found a large pea in England that was tender and tasted sweet, so he brought it back to Minnesota. The Minnesota Valley Canning Company applied for a trademark for the new pea, which was to be called the Green Giant. The patent office told them that the name was not descriptive enough to be trademarked, so instead it was suggested that they create a Green Giant mascot to sell their larger pea. It was during this process that the Green Giant character was born. The original Green Giant mascot was white, not green. The giant man was holding a giant peapod in his arms. The Green Giant's original incarnation was reportedly influenced by illustrations from Grimm's Fairy Tales, a collection of German fairy tales from the early 1800s. Therefore, he started out looking a bit angry and threatening. In 1928, the giant began to appear in ads for the peas. This was also the year his skin color was changed to green, and green foliage was added to his outfit. The advertising company Leo Burnett, which created many other well-known food mascots, softened the Green Giant's appearance in 1935. They revised him, adding a smile to match his new name, the Jolly Green Giant and he now wore a toga of green leaves. They also added a backstory to the character, which was that he watched over the Jolly Green Giant Valley, protecting the crops. Over the years, he continued evolving into a friendlier giant, and he would exclaim, ho, 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 as he watched over the valley. With his famous catchphrase, the Green Giant inspired kids and grown-ups alike to eat more vegetables, helping them to achieve their five a day. The popularity of the character led the Minnesota Valley Canning Company to change their name to the Green Giant Company in 1950. It was also in the early 1950s that the Green Giant made his television debut and it was not an easy transition. Both in animation and live forms, the giant did not come off as the friendly protector he was supposed to be. In fact, he still looked a little scary when filmed up close. The problem was solved by creating a film set with a tiny valley for the man-sized giant to preside over. The camera did not film any close-ups, and the giant was off in the distance, protecting the valley. In 1961, the Green Giant Company introduced frozen vegetables. This is when the Jolly Green Giant got a red scarf to keep him warm from the freezing winds, and his arms were crossed to help with any shivering. The Green Giant Company added another mascot called Little Green Sprout in 1973. Aimed specifically at children, the young green boy with leaves for hair joined the Jolly Green Giant in the valley, learning about veggies and keeping him company. Little Green Sprout's youth is reinforced with his high-pitched voice, a stark contrast to the Jolly Green Giant's booming ho-ho-ho tagline. In 1979, a radio station owner in Blue Earth, Minnesota, named Paul Hedberg, wanted to encourage visitors who were traveling on Interstate 90 to stop in his town. So he contacted Green Giant to ask if a statue could be erected. Green Giant gave the okay, and Hedberg raised money from local businesses to produce a 55-foot fiberglass statue of the Jolly Green Giant. During winter, 
They even add a giant red scarf around his neck to keep him warm. The Jolly Green Giant is one of the most recognized advertising icons of all time. Although the company merged with Pillsbury in 1979 and was later bought by General Mills, the Jolly Green Giant continues to be the face of the company and will be for years to come.